Hello, so we're in Google Earth and I'm just going to quickly show how to make some measurements um, and I'm just going to do that. We're going to zoom in here. Um, I'm actually going to go just try to get a couple things done at once. Let's look for I'm going to go to Mount Whitney. It's going to fly us over. Hopefully my computer's not too slow today over to Mount Whitney maybe there we go just show a couple things with measurements right at the same time alright so this has zoomed us all the way into the peak of Mount Whitney I'm gonna zoom out okay and let's say we're just gonna try to figure out what the distance um, from the top of Mount Whitney is here to this little lake that we can see and just remember, um, when you're looking in Google Earth, sometimes you might need to zoom in and out to try to get a sense for where the high points are and where the low points are. You can also use your mouse. Um, if you look, I'm going to just point. If you come down here in the bottom corners, uh, you can see a lot of data. So we have the latitude, the longitude, and then the elevation where your mouse is sitting. And that's telling you the elevation of the point. This eye altitude tells you how far you're zoomed in and out. So at what point in the atmosphere are you sitting above the view that you have? So we're sitting, um, this would be 34,074 feet above the surface of the Earth, and that's zoomed us in close enough to see things. Now if I'm sitting here at this point for Mount Whitney, it says that the highest elevation right where my mouse is, if you look down in that bottom right corner, I can't move the mouse because it'll change, but we're sitting at 13,911 feet, okay? Now if we want to see what this point is, so if you kind of watch the elevation right now, we're actually walking down a ridge, okay? We're walking down another ridge. Actually, we're walking up a ridge at this point. So we get to another high point at 14,026 feet. Um, this lake right here is at 12,850 feet, and you can kind of get a sense. So these are low spots, these are high spots, this kind of shaded area, that's showing us that the sun is shining on this side and creating a shadow, so it's telling us where a high point is. You sometimes have to zoom in and out and figure that, um, which direction the ridges are going and where the highs are, because it can be a little confusing. Okay, now back to the question about measurement. Um, the tool that we're going to use is this ruler tool. It's up here at the top, and you just click on it. It's going to open a pop-up that I like to move out of the way so you can see things. And then you have choices between line and paths. Okay, so lines, you can change your unit of measurement from miles oops, to feet. Um, if you want to do meters and kilometers, you can do that too. Um, I'm going to leave this in miles, and we'll just say, well, what is the distance um, between this point here? And we're going to click, oops, click on it, and then stretch it over to here. So as the crow flies, that's 0.85 miles. Down to this lake, it's 0.31 miles. And if I click on it again, it'll stay in place, but now you can see where it's changing. Now let's say that's not very useful for me. Um, I can get it in feet, that's 1,658.26 feet. So you can change it if you have that path going. Now if I need to do something else, I can clear it and then do another one. And let's say we want to say, you know, let's say we're going to walk over to this peak here. Let me go beyond it, okay? And then, um, you know, I can see that if I were to walk or fly, because again, if you're actually walking here, you're probably going to go along the ridges or follow a different trail um, instead of going straight through through there. But we can see that that's 6,128.6 feet. So that's how we take measurements in Google Earth. And again, by hovering your mouse, you can figure out the different elevations and also get a sense for where you are. Um, so that's how we use the ruler tool.